Hi, my name is Tim. I'm a musician, a teacher, and a student of psychology. What I'd like to talk about with you today is how to overcome music performance anxiety using systemic desensitization and just a little bit of cognitive restructuring. Now, those might sound like they're really big, awkward, hard to understand words, but once I go through it with you, I think you'll find it's fairly easy to understand. So what I'm aiming to do with this video is to show you how to reduce your anxiety around performing. Now in particular, that's performing in front of a big crowd on an instrument. Maybe you're the soloist and there's a thousand people in the audience. Or maybe it's just three or four people sitting behind that bench and you're in an exam. They're paying attention to every note, every movement, every breath you take. So that can be a quite a stressful situation and a little bit of that stress is good, but not to the point where you're feeling butterflies in your stomach or your knees are wobbling and shaking or you just can't play properly. Now, it's important to note this will not help you if you're not prepared and if you haven't practiced and know the material. But this is about reducing some of that anxiety that has no rational basis, that doesn't need to be there. Now, I'm talking in this video about how to reduce music performance anxiety, but the exact same techniques apply if you want to do some public speaking, talk in front of a big crowd, MC your brother's wedding where everyone's waiting to hear you make some really awful jokes. It's all the same. Systemic desensitization and a bit of cognitive restructuring. So let's start with the very first step. For this example, I'm going to assume that I'm going into a clarinet exam and I'm going to be performing with my accompanist there. There are going to be three or four people sitting there watching me, marking me, judging me. At the moment, that pretty much fills me with terror. Imagine that situation makes me feel sick inside. So if I tried to do that right now, I wouldn't do a very good job. So what we need to do is create a hierarchy or a ladder of fears. Now, obviously at the top, the biggest fear is doing that exam in front of that panel. What we then need to do is work out a number of different steps or rungs on that ladder, starting from something that's not very anxiety producing, right up to a big one. So this is what I prepared earlier. Up the top here, we have the performance exam pieces in front of the big panel. And the first step that I chose is something that's only tiny little bit worrying is practicing pieces by myself. That's something I can do. What might be a little bit more scary than that is practicing or performing these pieces in front of my pet cat Lulu. And then the next level up from that that's even scarier again would be performing these pieces to my family. Then what I thought after that it would actually be going back to the pet but this time no stopping, going through without making mistakes, or if you make a mistake, just keep going. And then the next one up from that would be doing the same thing, but for my family. Lulu, the pet, my cat can't talk, my family can. So that's fairly anxiety provoking. Once I can perform for my family without stopping, then I'd be looking at performing for my teacher and my family. Obviously my teacher is much more of an expert than I am. So that would create more fear. Then I'd be looking at performing those pieces with my accompanist, then with my accompanist and teacher, and then with my accompanist, my teacher, and a couple of other people. And then finally, at the very top of our hierarchy, would be performing that exam piece, or those exam pieces in front of the panel of examiners. So what this ladder is, is it's a series of steps from not very scary to incredibly scary. It's important when you're making your fear hierarchy or your ladder that you have as many steps as you need to fit in there and that each one is not a really big step from the next. So going from performing in front of my pet to performing in front of my family is a step up in the anxiety, but it's not a big step. It's not gonna cause me huge problems. Now comes the fun part, systemic desensitization. What that means is that we work our way through each of those levels starting at right at the bottom where it's not as scary and we repeat it until we feel comfortable and we don't feel scared anymore. So I would perform for myself 
until I felt really comfortable, confident doing that. Then I'd perform for my cat and keep going. She may not like it, but she's not going to tell me so. Cats can't talk. So I keep going, performing in front of my cat until I feel comfortable with that and it doesn't produce that fear anymore. Then I would go up to performing in front of my family. And again, I would keep performing in front of my family until I could do it without causing fear. I keep doing that for every step on my hierarchy, every step up the ladder. I do it again and again until it doesn't produce that big anxiety for me anymore. So that's systemic desensitization. The other thing I'd like you to consider is a bit of cognitive restructuring, which is basically challenging those negative thoughts in your head. So you might be thinking as you're about to perform, oh, everybody hates me. They, I'm going to stuff it up and they're going to laugh at me. What I want you to do is challenge those thoughts. Have a few questions prepared. Really? Is everyone really going to be laughing at me? What's the evidence for that? Hmm. Do people really know the piece that well that they're going to notice if I make the tiniest mistake? I don't think so. I like to talk about ants in your head. Automatic negative thoughts. We don't want ants squirreling around in our brains. We don't want these negative thoughts. So the cognitive restructuring is just challenging those negative thoughts and making them less negative. You can accept that they're happening, but you don't have to listen to them. So hopefully this video has helped you prepare for your big performance, your big speech, public speaking, presenting in front of a class. The technique of systemic desensitization and cognitive restructuring remains the same. Key things to remember is start small, make small steps and move up when you feel comfortable. Also, make sure that your process is in a fairly short amount of time. There's no point performing in front of your cat today and two weeks later performing in front of your family. You need to make sure that when you're doing these steps and exposing yourself to these scary situations, that they're fairly close together. The other thing is make sure you reward yourself. Have a lovely home cooked meal. Take your boyfriend or girlfriend out to dinner. Spend time cuddled up in front of the TV watching Netflix. Some way of reinforcing that what you're doing is a good thing and it won't leave you so squared. So thank you for watching. I hope you have great success in your performance and reduce your performing anxiety.